Hello everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel and Farm Simulator 2017. This is our Let's Play series on Challenton Farm and we are up to episode 12 today. So if you do enjoy our videos if you just quickly drop us a like it would be much appreciated and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Again it is much appreciated. So, welcome back to Challenton Farm. So today we are on episode 12. And what we're going to be doing today is something a bit different. Okay, we've got our fence tractor here. Jump into there. We're going to head down the bottom of our farm. We've actually been doing a few missions again, getting us a little bit of money saved up. So what we're going to be doing is focusing on cows today. Now, we purchased this shed in front of us. Which is nice and handy for us. And we've got an empty... So we'll uh, open the doors up, door slide across there, like so. We've already got our Massey Ferguson down here. We've got three different bunkers. We've got our Massey Ferguson. We've purchased a, a bucket for the front loader. Turn our lights on, gives us a bit more light in here. So, yeah, we've got three little bunkers there all the doors open up which is nice and handy so what we're going to do is we're actually going to do some silage today as you can see our bunker is completely empty this is a silage clamp so what you do is you dump all your uh, chaff into here we then cover it up, flement it, and after a period of time it becomes silage. So why have we put this shed in? I'm hearing you ask. So what we're gonna do, cows need a few different things. They need the silage. What we'll do is we'll flick through and we'll have a quick look. Cows need water. So we can get a water bowser and give them water. They need straw. They need grass. They need silage or hay. And they need power food to get them at 100%. So what my plan is to put silage in there. We can try and fill this up. We're going to put a little bit of straw in here for safekeeping. We're going to put some grass in here, ready for them to use. And we're actually going to mix up some power food and put it in here for storage, which we'll work along the process as we do it. We've got a tractor to bring everything in. So, how do we get our chaff? I hear you ask. Chaff can be done with a forage harvester, or you can also cut grass to get chaff. Again, I'm hearing you say, how does that work? So what we do is, we've already took the liberty of cutting field 20 again, and we've purchased this loading wagon. So this Bergman loading wagon takes about 34,000 litres of grass or chaff, whichever we're picking up. It does it comes down like a baler, pulls the grass in and puts it into the trailer. So 
like I say, we've already took the liberty of cutting the grass on field 20 and we've left it all down. So what we're going to do is just head down now and get some collected up. Remember just here on the left is field 20. So we've already got grass cut. Still got our bowels here as well, which will be handy for later on. So what we're gonna do is lower the pickup like a baler and turn it on. You see the little roller moving. And same as baling, we just drive over the grass to collect it up. See our trailers slowly filling up. So hopefully you are enjoying our videos. If you are, if you could just quickly drop us a like. Don't forget to share with family and friends. if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well so pretty much the same technique as bailing just driving over the grass to collect all that up so what we're hoping to do is get the entire pit full if possible. Don't know how easy that's going to be. Especially trying to record it all for you. So I think what we'll do is show you the process. For each stage of the process would probably be easier. Our trailer's full, so it's automatically picked up. Uh, the roller and the collection. So what we need to do is just head back to the farm. Back down to the uh, silage pit. What we're actually doing is attempting to get ready for purchasing cows. So here we are back on our side of the bit. Just pull in, you have to use the tip anywhere function, and then we just load it. Like so, finish doing that, and that is one load done. So what we'll do is we'll just drive back over it, and this increases the compacting. So, once you've got all your chaff into the pit, you simply drive over it until it's 100% compacted. So just that once over it gave us 10% compacting. But what we'll do is we'll just run back to the field. We shall continue collecting. one more load or 
complete load. <clears throat> and then we will end the video there until I manage to get some more collected up. So again, lower the collector down just like a baler and start picking grass up. Same as before, we just need to run up and down the lines. Sing fills a trailer up. going to do is cut the grass on field 18 as well which is the uh, big field in the middle there again we'll do exactly the same way we'll collect all the grass up like this get that put into the pit as well. Try and calculate how many loads are actually tipping in there. Another load collected. And again, we'll drive back to our farm and back down to the silage pit. Process, especially when you are just starting out, it's all worth it in the end. So here we go again. So we'll put it this side this time. Again, pull up, hit the unload button, and start driving forward. If you drive forward a bit, it just spreads it out and makes it easier and more manageable to. Do what we need to do. Just drive over it again. As you can see it's pushing it all down. I can say. Okay, so we're going to end the video there and we will come back and we've made a bit more progress with what we've got in here so we'll see you in just a tick okay guys welcome back we are uh, just 
take in our last load of grass back to the silage pit. Nowhere near fill the pit up. And it takes absolutely ages. What we're going to do is what we have got in there, including this last load here. We're going to get it all uh, clamped down. start the fermented process. So here we are. Get our tractor stuck. Which is exactly what we have done. One load, last bit there. There we go, that's that done. We'll park our trailer out the way. Just drop that there. Okay, so now to clamp it down, we've got uh, 368,571 litres of chaff in the pit. So this is our chaff. And currently our compacting is 48%. So we need to get that to 100%. And to do this, you literally need to just keep driving up and down, backwards and forwards over it. And hopefully not get your track stuck like so. So, as this is going to take quite a while, we're only at 50%. What we're going to do is a quick time-lapse video for you. So, we shall see you in just a second.
Okay, so welcome back. We're up to 98% uh, compacted now. It took us uh, shy of 10 minutes to get this uh, get to this stage. 9% and there we go, 100%. So now that we've done that. do is come to our uh, silo. Obviously the more you put in the better. If you could fill this right up to the end it would be a lot better and get a lot more in here. <coughs> but as we're going here only really we're using this to feed cows with I think we've got absolute plenty there. So we need to blanket our silo. So all we do, come to the edge and hit the blanket silo button. All that does, it puts a plasticky uh, membrane down over the um, chaff and starts the fermenting process. So essentially, what it's doing is sweating under there with the sun and that and that turns it into silage which can either be sold or used for cow feed so we're gonna again leave the video just there and we will come back once that has finished fermenting so see you in just a tick okay welcome back so bright and early the next day while we've been waiting for the uh, silage to ferment it's half past five in the morning now we'll skip over our gate Just quickly down the lane and back to our actual main farm we're going to run down to the uh, bottom and see what's happening uh, here we go past the pig pen running down the bottom So here is our silo, it's now 100% fermented, which means we can now open it up. So press the open up button and there we go, we have lovely silage. It is all the way through, but to get it the colour right off we just need to drive a tractor the front loader over and of course what we have been doing whilst we was waiting for that was stacking our bowels so we've got all or quite a few bowels stuck stacked inside the shed we'll just drop this one back down To be. And there we go. And what we'll do is we'll leave our fork just on there. Get out of here. Get out without hitting the uh, shed doors. Pick up our front loader uh, bucket. So, this is our silage. Need 
do is just drive over with the front loader bucket ever so slightly just on the top. What that will do is uncover all of the silage. There we go. We can drop that. What we have picked up in, back in there. Don't need that yet. So there we go. So that is silage and how to produce it. You can sell it at the biogas plant, or we can use it for feeding, etc. So that, I believe, is going to be it for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, if you could quickly drop us a like, it'd be much appreciated. And, of course, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for very regular farming simulator videos. So thank you very much for watching, and we shall see you very soon. Bye for now.